Yo, man, that's it. We're done with this video so fast. Imagine if I accidentally dropped this thing when, oh! Come on, just get it. You're not making any sense. Let's do this again for the 20th time. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty Hoy. You're watching Bemis. Yeah, today we're looking at something totally different. It's not even a Lego brick size. It's not even a nano brick size. It's a brand new brick called Adam Brick. But some of you may be really familiar with this size brick because it is actually using Laws Brick. I'll tell you more about that in a second. Let's just take a look at this little beautiful set. So this is from the Adam Brick, the Unity Temple. 401102, 912 pieces. And it's based on the architecture of Frank Lloyd Wright. So a few months ago, the Adam Brick team got in touch with me. Thank you so much to Eric. You know, after a few email exchanges, he sent me the sample and I'm here to review it for you guys. This set is not available on my store yet, so I hope in the near future we can collaborate together and maybe we'll sell the sets on our store. Who knows, but you can buy the set from theadambrick.com. I'll put a link in the description. Go check out what other sets they have. And let's just take a look at this and I'll explain along the way what this is and what am I looking at. The Adam Brick was founded by Adam Reed Tucker, who was the co-developer of the original Lego architecture series. So if you actually really like Lego architecture, you should definitely take a look at this. I have some of the architectures kind of like spread out here behind me and more in the room. I was actually not a huge architecture fan until I started building it. And I realized, man, these are really different techniques than your standard Lego sets. Hey, you know what? He's also a Lego certified professional. And he's doing this type of brick set. That is pretty awesome, man. Ooh, so not only are you paying for this beautiful set, you're paying for heart right here because the packaging is so well done. I was actually pretty amazed. I'm like, wow, sturdy box. It survived the transit. Ooh, look at the green on this box. What a really well-designed front, by the way. I really like that. It doesn't look like these cheap boxes that you see from other sets. So this is one would be worth getting it with the box. I think you have to get it with the box. On the bottom, it even has a proof of purchase. Do not tear that off or void this box. An autograph there from Adam. That's all I need, man. Thank you so much. Hopefully this will be worth something one day. Here's the backside here. Very nice. More details about the set, more information about the Adam brick. I guess in the near future, they're gonna do different themes. So the colors represent each theme. So your box might be a different color depending on what sets you get. I'll open it up for you to see what's on the inside. Ooh, look at that. Nice and smooth. Smooth as butter. It's coming out yet. By exploring the, oh, what? Exploring the what? The world around us. Adam Reed Tucker, thank you for trying something different. Inspiring creativity. Oh, look at that. You get this lovely envelope. Very nice logo. I like it. What's inside this? We got a little birthday card in here. Ooh, a nice little card inside from Adam describing why he's doing this brand, but in basically smaller size means smaller space, more room for you, more details in the set. Okay, so put this here to the side. Ooh, what's next? The manual instructions. Dude, this is like a nice hardback book. Wow, I like the back. Inspiring creativity by exploring the world around us. Sorry, I had it all weirded out on the box when I was reading on the wrong side. There you go, that's the back. Here's a quick look inside. The first page is kind of all about the company. So, you know, take your time to read that. Gives a full detail on why he's doing this. And then the next couple pages about the Unity Temple. So it's nice that they included that. And the best part about the instruction is the actual building process when you're putting the pieces together. It's nice and big. Thank you, it's so easy to read. Just make sure you have the right part that you need for the page because you do have to look a little bit closely to make sure you're using the right parts. Don't be like me, man. I never look up here. I just look down here and like put whatever pieces I find. That's just me, man. It's a very nice book indeed. Good job, you guys. I love that. I love the presentation of this thing. And of course, finally, this is where all the pieces would be. And it's nice, bright green box. And it's empty because I built the set already. But what you hear are the spare pieces in here. So you do get a lot of spare pieces, which is good. We 
could probably make a little mini temple out of this. Use the remaining greens and plants and whatever you have and scatter more flowers onto it. All right, so very cool. Let's look at the set. Oh, look at this tiny little Unity temple. You know what though, for a build, it's actually really, really good. And I think that's why it's important to have a good designer because they can turn these little Laws bricks and they are using Laws. You can actually see the, the logo on the stud. So they do supply their bricks from them, which is totally fine. I think it's great. But how important it is to have a real designer get in there and make it really, really nice. Structurally, this thing is super solid. Didn't take long to put together. It's fun, man. Wow, how solid this is. It's not even gonna fall apart on you. You can even go like this and be like, oh yeah. Good job, Adam. I'm liking this already. So the nice thing about this being super small is yes, plenty of room to put on your desk. And it kind of does look okay going with the other Lego architectures, to be honest with you. I think the color, the tone is really nice. I've never seen the Unity Temple before. So this is my first time to see it when I was building it. As you know, I'm not a huge architecture guy. I've only just gotten into building architecture stuff recently. There really isn't too much to say about the set because it's so small. It was quick to put together. And the way it was designed on some parts, it fit in really well. So we need more proper designers like this. That actually does look like it has some quality work to it when I show it to you like this. It doesn't look cheap. Let's start in the front here. It is on multiple plates and it's raised up. So it is like on its own platform. You can see here, but I flip it upside down. So it's kind of like that. It has a little bit of height to it. So yeah, it gives it a nice look. It doesn't feel super flat, so that's good. The Unity Tempo sign is a print. Thank goodness. No stickers on the set. Hallelujah. I like the touch of the grassy area there. And the entrance, you have some flowers and the staircase going up. Then we come to the side here. It has a little bit of green there. So you can totally add more flowers if you want to. Give it some vegetation, some life. And they use like little tiny flower pieces in on the top level here of this part of the building, stacked up on each other. That looks nice. Gives it a little bit more of a complicated look there. We come to the back side. You got some trees, I like that. I like how you have a very tall one, big one that overlooks these small, tiny little trees here. The building itself does mirror on both sides. And we come to this side here with all the window pieces, which looks fine. Okay, let's look at the rooftop. Ooh, I like these transparent bricks there. That's really cool. From a bird's eye view, it looks nice and clean and flushed out. All four sides does have this paved sidewalk or cement walkway, nice and smooth. Now it is hollow on the inside. You can kind of take this piece off. There you go, move this to the side here and even this part here, pull it off. Yeah, I mean, you can't really put too much detail on the inside because it's so small. So unlike some other sets that I have seen where on the inside, they kind of like cheat and put loose bricks here and there, things will pop off on you. That thing's gonna pop off on you in here, which is really good. There you go. That is the power of the atom. Atom or atom. Now I'm always confused how I should do dimensions on these, but they're usually for these mini bricks or law styled bricks. I would use my standard base plate for Lego fans to see for themselves or brick fans. See how it compares and how it fits to a regular base plate. So this will be a little bit odd, but just to show you guys. By length, it is around 26 standard studs. And for the width, you're looking at about around 20. I got my one by four bricks right here. Let's move this over and put it to the highest point. These are standard Lego bricks, by the way. There, oh, that is just around eight bricks in height. That's tiny, it's good enough to fit in your spot. Yeah. Now just for kicks, this is a standard Lego brick right there. We're gonna take the one off from here in the temple, sorry temple. Put it right on top just to show you the difference. Okay, so you can visually see it, they cannot fit at all. All right, so different size. What you guys think? You guys see my videos. You should know the comparison by now. And if you really want my opinion about law style bricks, they are smaller. They're not frustrating. They're not like nano frustrating with your fingers. I'm fine with nano, man. Why you guys don't like nano blocks? I love nano stuff. I have fat fingers and I love building those too. I have a couple of laws ones here. They're just kind of scattered around just to show you guys. After you visit the Unity Temple, you might want to go to the cinema or, you know, go to the flower shop. So these are the same size bricks here. You know, maybe you can put this over here like that. Take one. Okay, cool. Good job, Scotty. 
Well, that was super short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a couple of little things about the Unity Temple itself and give you guys some beauty shots. But I think this is an awesome idea. I would totally support you, Adam. I hope others out there will support you too and try out this quick brand for themselves and get into it. So let's read about this thing. Built in the years 1905 and 1908 in Oak Park, Illinois, Unity Temple is often considered one of Frank Lloyd Wright's most important structures. Wright's use of a single material, reinforced concrete, and his efficient use of space make Unity Temple one of the first modernist buildings in the world and influenced many future modernist and postmodernist and mini brick and atom brick enthusiasts. Unity Temple was named a U.S. National Historic Landmark in 1970 and was designated as a U.S. National Historic Landmark in 1967. It is one of eight buildings included in a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The 20th century architecture of Frank Lloyd Wright. You know, I almost forgot one last thing. You know what I'm going to do. Change clothes, going to review a new set. That means I'm done with this. Eric, Adam, I'm sorry, I have to do this to all my sets. It's drop test time. But you know, this thing is so tiny and so sturdy. I highly doubt anything's going to fall off on it. Maybe the trees? We'll see. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. <sighs> See, yeah, I was right. Just the trees. Give me an A. Give me a T. Give me an O. Give me an M. Adam Brick. Woohoo! Go ahead and drop this all you like. So there you go. From Adam Reed Tucker comes this Adam Brick. This is the Unity Temple. Thank you, Eric, so much for sending this to me. I'll probably go and buy the other sets soon. And I look forward to building those. And yeah, if you're going to buy from them, say what's up, man. Break me out! That's what you gotta say to them, alright? Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you know I'll be back with more. All the time, every time, until next time. Break me out! It actually took longer to talk about the company than it did to talk about the set. It's so small. I should drop it upside down like this and be like, oh! No, I won't do that to you. I won't do that to you, Adam Brick. Maybe you do have a bunch of law sets. You're like, I need more laws or I want some architecture stuff. Well, here you go. Yay, we have a new guy in town. Is that the power of the atom or the atom? It could have been called the Adam Brick. Uh, then you have to call it Atom Brick. Adam Brick, Adam Brick, okay. Where'd that come from?